I told a lot of Canadians in different institutions, the schools, the universities, the churches, Parliament of Ontario in Toronto, Parliament in Ottawa, where I explained what we have lived through, what means Holodomor, uh, the actual meaning simply means holod, means famine, and uh, more means bewate. So uh, that's killing people by not giving them food. And there were ministers in Soviet Union, such as Litvino, Elias Finkelstein, that openly stated that uh, food is a weapon. And we're using that weapon to achieve our goals. Well, some of the ministers, even in Canada, uh, did not really believe some of the professors at University of Toronto were denying that there was so-called Holodomor. Or they said that was only a, an agrarian reform of Soviet Union because there was no other way. Well, there were other ways. But quite often I asked them at the expense of seven or ten million people at the time when there was food there was a lot of wheat and barley all kind of food but the the food was taken by force from people and the uh, the people didn't have anything to eat simply because they didn't prepare for uh, those conditions. In winter, when there is a meter of snow and a minus 20, and you have no food or heating, it doesn't take much for a human being to die. Well, eventually <clears throat> the Canadian government understood, obtained many documents, Soviet authentical documents, and they have understood that all the witnesses of Holodomor, that they were telling them the truth. And they have actually recognized Holodomor in the Canadian federal parliament that that was true famine artificially created by the Soviet communist regime. Uh, some believed, I guess, some had doubt that self-proclaimed famous Soviet Union would do such a thing, especially then where, well, propaganda Soviet Union was going continuously in Canada and the States all over the place. But we, 
those who survived and those who did not survive, I would say grateful to the Canadian government for recognizing Holodomor as the genocide of Ukrainian people. When it comes to how many people will have to die before it's recognized as genocide, I always ask them, does it have to be 1 million, 6 million, 10 million, or how many? Does it matter? Well, some People feel that Stalin didn't really mean to kill 40 million people, so it's not genocide. But all the conditions which were stated in the United Nations by Mr. Levin fit there are five points for the recognition of genocide. Fit every single one of them that Holodomor was truly genocide of Ukrainian people. Thank you.